What's up gamers and football fans in the world, it's the Natural here and we're back with another Football Impact! And in today's headlines in Football Impact, Bayern Munich, Barcelona and Liverpool are one step closer to winning their respective league titles. And is Chipper Moting's miss the worst miss in the history of football? What the fuck? But we're gonna begin and we're going to start it off with the the classic gap between Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund, or should I call it the Frashy gap? I, I don't even think I've seen the word, but I'm going anyway. Because Bayern Munich totally dismantled, destroyed Borussia Dortmund in the first half, and honestly, I couldn't believe what I was watching from Borussia Dortmund. We get on to how bad Dortmund were in terms of defensively and tactically. But I thought Bayern Munich was the best performance of the season. They were masterful and it was a masterclass performance from Hummels and Lewandowski, who are definitely the biggest two chips on their shoulder in this game because ex Dortmund players obviously don't want their former team winning the league title. So they definitely had uh, a lot of determination to beat Dortmund and they totally did. But Bayern Munich totally dismantled Borussia Dortmund and now go back to the top of the Bundesliga by one point and definitely have at least the psychological advantage because all they do by Munich is win all the games from now into the season and they will win their 7th straight Bundesliga title for the first time in their club's history. As for Borussia Dortmund, I thought they got tactically wrong in this game because you do not go to the Allianz Arena, especially to the Allianz Arena where they have single-handedly been horrific there many years. I mean, they got fresh 6-2 last season, they were fresh many, uh, uh, the only time they'd beaten Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga at the Allianz Arena was under Jurgen Klopp. That was quite a while back. This could be a damaging defeat for Dortmund because we come back to the end of the season, we come back to when the season's over in May and Dortmund don't win the league. This is the game that cost them the biggest chance of them winning the first, league, first Bundesliga title since 2012. Bayern Munich comfortable win and you have to say they're in pole position to win another Bundesliga title. And another league title we have to talk about is in the Premier League and it was Southampton versus Liverpool. And Southampton gave Liverpool the biggest scare that you've seen since YouTube demonetization. Brexit means Brexit. That scares any YouTuber when they see a yellow demonetization. But that's what Southampton did for Liverpool because they scored the goal in the first, uh, the first goal from Shane Long, who literally I think scored his first goal in like 50 years. Mine. But Liverpool rallied the troops. I thought in the second half they made some big changes in the second half. They brought on James Milner and Henderson, who was ex excellent when he came on. I thought Henderson um, controlled the midfield just. Like, like the captain that he is, scored two big goals, one of them from Mohamed Salah, and I said on my prediction show that he will score, he will break his duck, he will break that eight or nine game, that goal drought that he has been going for for so long, and he did, he could, I mean, every Liverpool fan were asking, pass it to Firmino, don't shoot, don't shoot, and he, and he did the opposite, he went and scored an absolute blinding finish, the, the rise of the Egyptian king, he's back, he's out of his coffin, and he scored a banging goal, and then Henderson just wrapped up the three points for Liverpool in a very convincing finish from him, and a massive win for Liverpool puts him back to the top of the Premier League. One of these two could have over 96 points and not win the Premier League title, which is remarkable to say least. And just goes to show these two have just single-handedly destroyed the Premier League like I've never seen before. And if Liverpool win the Premier League title this season, they deserve it. Lose one game in 33 game season, that's remarkable. Man City are, I think, one of the greatest ever Man City. Everything is good down, is one of the greatest ever title races of all time. And I feel right now that Manchester City is one of the greatest teams I think I've ever seen in a long time. I've seen the, the 99 Manchester United team, the Invincibles of Arsenal. But this team is just unbelievable. This title race is going down to the wire. It's La Liga and it's Barcelona versus Letico Madrid. And Letico Madrid, if they need... If they sneak the 1 0 win, they may have an outside chance of legit maybe winning the La Liga title from Barcelona this season, but it didn't happen. Why? Because for the majority of this game, they were down to 10 men because Diego Costa, 
is just a mad bastard. You see that fly? Look in there. What fly? <laughs> Why? Because he went up to the referee, literally swore at the referee, and got a straight red card. I mean, only Diego Costa can do that. Chelsea fans must miss Diego Costa, they really do. Old Black made some standing saves, and this is the reason why this man is one of the best goalkeepers in the world, Old Black. He made some terrific saves, because Barcelona should have won this game 3 or 4 nil. but it was two late goals in the end for Barcelona from Luis Suarez, who's in, right now in a great purple patch for the first time this season, scoring goals right now. And Lionel Messi does what he does best, scoring goals for fun. That's why he is the G-O-A-T. Many of the Ronaldo fans may have something to say about, oh, you know what, Messi's not met, no, Ronaldo's the best player in the world, what are you talking about? No, I don't really give a damn. Messi's just ridiculous. So you take Messi out of the Barcelona team, we're stealing as Villarreal. They are just not the same. What a player he is. I think he broke another record. I mean, how many, how many records has Lionel Messi broke in his career? It was a, it was a convincing performance from Barcelona and a, and a win that for me, they're on the brink of winning another La Liga, La Liga title. As for Letico Madrid, they're only two points behind their arch rivals, Real Madrid, but I think they finished second this season, Letico Madrid. It's not a bad season, but it's not a great season. It's the FA Cup semi-final between Watford and Wolves. And Watford and Wolves played an absolute FA Cup semi-final thriller. They had five goals, went to extra time, and controversial circumstances. Um, Wolves uh, scored the first goal in this game thanks to Matt Doherty, um, the Irishman. Um, really good header, fantastic ball from Diego Jones. I thought he was excellent in this game. Him and um, Raul Jimenez were fucking unbelievable and they have a really good partnership them two for Wolves and then obviously in the second half Wolves scored the second goal Rowie Hemmings scored an absolute banging what a banging goal that was it was absolutely sensational it went to VAR but he is just on side I mean just on side then obviously Wol Watford brought on De La totally changed the whole complexion of this game he bought him on he probably scored one of the greatest goals he ever going to score in his career just absolutely dinked it over um, uh, John Ruddy in the back at 2-1 and then a late 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 penalty with literally the last kick of the game in the in the whole 90 minutes I don't know what Dan Dock is doing it's just inexperience from Wolves at this level and what Troy Deeney stepped up scored the scored the penalty 2-2 extra time Wolves had big opportunities in the second half sorry in the first half of extra time to get um, the winner it didn't happen. They have failed on the other end. Scored an absolutely bang goal for the third goal. Watford into the FA Cup final for the first time in 36 years. I think it is. That's incredible for Watford. What a season they're having. What a season that the manager has done for them. Because you think of Watford since they've been in the Premier League. Well, three or four years now. They've sacked managers and just replaced managers just for sake of doing so. But they finally have Javi Grazia. Who I think has done a remarkable job at Watford. The fact that they could still finish seventh this season and they're in an FA Cup final, remarkable. I just thought inexperience at this level for Wolves was the reason why they lost this game. And I think obviously they're just a new promoted club. They're still understanding um, game management. They will learn that this is a massive learning curve for Wolves this season. They've had an amazing season nonetheless. I mean, I did not expect Wolves to be top seven and an FA Cup semi-final. I did not see that coming from a new promoted club. But commemorations to them, but... Watford, totally, with a better team on the day. And now, we're in the Serie A, and it's Inter Milan versus Atlanta. Wait, what? Wait, Amanda, why are we talking about this game? This game finished goalless, it was a terrible game. What's the point of me talking about this game? Oh, Mario Caddy got booed and jeered of the Inter Milan supporters. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, I don't even need to talk about this game. This game was awful from start to finish. Zapata for Atlanta's player of the season this season was suspended for this game. Mario Cardi was back in this game. It was a terrible game. He got booed and cheered every single time about the ball at Cardi but from the Inter Milan Ultras. Um, but it was a terrible game. And I don't need to say anymore really. That was rubbish. And the last game is Paris Saint-Germain against Strasbourg. PSG only needed a win to be crowned Liga champions yet again. That didn't happen, uh, even though they've already wrapped up the title. All they need is a point in the next remaining eight games. Really know they won the league title anyway. 
But that's not the reason why I'm talking about this game. There's no doubt about it. Super Moting isn't a good player. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? We saw that at Stuke, and we just seen that in this game against Strasbourg for PSG. How the hell can you miss the chances he did? It's an open goal. He's like a yard out. He's a yard out. It's not even three yards. He's a fucking yard out. How can you be that stupid of a striker by literally hitting the ball off your foot onto your another foot onto the post? I mean, I, I find that the, the physics of football, how can he miss that? Like, how? I mean, the thing is, if he didn't even touch the two remote thing, it was going to go on the goal anyway. He didn't even need to touch it because it would have been a goal. But no, I didn't want to score and he fucked it up. I couldn't believe what I seen. I literally had to rub my eyes and figure out what the hell have I just witnessed. So that's the end of another football impact for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget if you think Trooper Moting's miss for PSG against Strasbourg is the worst miss of all time, go watch a compilation video of worst misses on YouTube, come back to this video and smash the godforsaken like button and finesse or headbutt the notification bell. Anyway, that's all I've got for this episode. Stay safe, say no to drugs, please like, subscribe. The natural is out.